So I picked up some new bits from Uniqlo recently and I thought I'd share them with you. Some of these items I bought with my own money and some of them I got through some work I did with Uniqlo over on Instagram. This video isn't sponsored or anything like that. Uniqlo don't know I'm making this video, but a lot of you have been asking for more affordable clothing on the channel, so I thought this would be a good video to make. Just for reference, I'm six foot and I've got a 31 inch waist. If you like this video at any point, please feel free to drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the pieces. So let's start off with the souffle cable knit jumper in off-white first. I picked this up in my true size, a size medium, and it does have a bit of a relaxed fit. So if you don't want that, then I would recommend sizing down in this piece. But this jumper's really soft and it does feel a little bit like cashmere, but at £34.90, it's definitely not cashmere. And because it's so soft, you don't have to worry about it being itchy or scratchy against your skin. So you could even wear this with nothing on underneath and it would feel lovely. And I would say this is more of a mid-weight knit rather than a heavyweight knit, but it's really cozy and you can easily layer with it. It also comes in some lovely other colors and I think it looks great in all the other colors. And I normally hate yellow, but I even quite like the yellow version of this. And I say I quite liked it in yellow because I still don't like yellow enough to buy it in yellow, but if you love yellow, then it might work for you. So while we've got knitwear fresh on our mind, let's do another knitted jumper next. And this is their lamb's wool knit and I picked it up in a size medium. Now wool jumpers are normally itchy and scratchy, but this one's surprisingly soft. Now it is gonna be more itchy than cashmere or the last knit, but you're not gonna be walking around in this looking like you've got fleas. And I normally wear this jumper with nothing on underneath, but I'm a bit of a daredevil like that. So you might not wanna follow in my footsteps. But this jumper is fairly lightweight and it is quite thin, but not in a bad way. I personally think the thickness and the weight works really well for this piece. And I love the way it sits on body. Because it's more lightweight and more fitted, it makes the perfect layering piece so you could wear it underneath a coat or a jacket without it being too bulky underneath. And again, like the other jumper, they offer this in some lovely other colors, but if I'm being really picky, then I wish my green was more of a bluish green rather than a yellowy green. It's just because yellowy green, yellow isn't my color. Did I mention that yellow wasn't my color? I can't remember. Anyway, let's move on. So next up, we've got their short utility jacket, and I love this jacket so much that I picked it up in two different colorways. So originally I got this in the green colorway and I've worn it so much since I got it that I decided to pick it up in black as well before it sells out. And at the time of recording this video, the black one hasn't arrived yet, but I did only order it yesterday. So if it arrives in time before this video goes out, then I will include it in the B-roll. But this jacket's got a lovely boxy fit and the perfect crop for me. The whole boxy and crop trend is really popping off right now. And some of it is a little bit too extreme for me, but this is perfect. And because this jacket has a boxy fit, you're gonna have no problem layering underneath it, or you could just wear it over the top of a t-shirt. It definitely reminds me of the Barber Spay jacket and the Transport jacket. So if you like the look of those, but you want to save yourself some money, then have a look into this. I've always loved those cord collars on Barber jackets, and this jacket has a cord collar as well. It's not brown like the Barber jackets, but I still love the look it gives off. And the jacket has some decent pockets in it as well. This jacket also comes in brown. I like the look of it in brown, but the brown one isn't for me. But if you love brown, then check that one out. For sizing, I would recommend you go true to size. I picked this up in a size medium and I love the way it fits on me. Oh, and by the way, everything from this video will be linked in the description box, including the belt I'm wearing and my footwear. A lot of you ask about that belt, it's down there. Okay, so the next item I don't actually own because I've already got a puffer jacket that I'm really happy with and they do take up quite a lot of room in the wardrobe, so I don't want too many of them. This one's from the most recent Uniqlo U collection and I love the silhouette of it. You can definitely see Christophe Lemaire's input in this piece. But yeah, really cool looking jacket and if any of you own it already, then let us know how the quality is and most importantly, does it keep you warm? So next up, I've got a pair of trousers. Now it's really rare that I find a decent pair of affordable trousers, but I found a pair. So these are the smart ankle length trousers with pinstripes in navy. I picked these up in a size medium and a size medium is supposed to cover a size 30 waist to a 33 waist. So they are a little bit big on me, but they do have a drawstring. So it's all good. And when it comes to a crop trouser, I love to wear them with a pair of high top boots. And that's exactly what I'm going to be wearing these with. But these feel really nice and they are fairly thick. So they're going to keep your legs warmer in the winter, which is exactly what you want. But they also do these trousers 
colors in so many other colors. So if you don't like pinstripes or you don't want them in navy, then check some of the other colors out. And also I've got to mention them, but they're wide fit pleated trouser. People are going mad for them right now. They're so popular. So if you like a wider fit trouser, then definitely check those out. So the next item I want to talk about is their waffle long sleeve t-shirt and waffle long sleeves scream autumn or winter to me. And I love the way they look. And they've got some lovely colors in these that are perfect for the autumn or winter. Well, the yellow one wouldn't be a good choice for me because yellow isn't my color. But I think I already mentioned that, didn't I? But these look great on their own over the top of a t-shirt or as a layering piece. So they're a really versatile item. I wear these in a size medium and I would say they run true to size, but not much else to say about this piece. Let's move on. So the next item I've got is a lovely autumn and winter accessory and it's a scarf. I was actually pleasantly surprised with this one because I thought it was going to be a lot thinner and a lot smaller from the picture. And I went for this in red because I wanted to add a pop of color to my outfits, but they do have some other colors as well. They've even got it in yellow. Did I mention that yellow wasn't my color? But not only can a scarf add a pop of color or some detail to your outfits, but it also keeps you warm. So it's the perfect item to have in the colder weather. The only time I hate a scarf is when it's really windy outside and it's blowing around all over the place. It's going in your face. I can't be dealing with that. But on the milder days, I love a scarf. So next up, I've got a bag. Now, I don't often buy bags or feature them on the channel, but I wanted a new tote that wasn't made of cloth. There's nothing wrong with a cloth tote bag. I've got loads of them, but I wanted something a little bit sleeker. The thing I really like about this bag is the straps are adjustable so you can carry it down by your side or sling it over your shoulder, which is my preferred carrying method for those of you who are interested. And the other great thing about this bag is if you need both of your hands free, then it doubles up as a backpack, which is pretty handy. It also says that it's got a waterproof coating, but that the waterproof coating isn't permanent. So how long that lasts, I don't know, but I'm not going to be relying on it. Anyway, at £29.90, I think that's a great price for this bag, and I'm sure it's going to get a lot of use. And next up, I want to talk about an absolute lifesaver in the winter, and it's Heat Tech. Heat Tech is basically Uniqlo's thermal range, and they've got a lot to choose from. But basically, you just just wear them underneath whatever else you're wearing and they're going to keep you a lot warmer. So for example, if I want to wear my Izzy Miyake pleats in the winter, it's not a problem. My pleats are quite cold in the winter, but all I do is whack on a pair of thermals underneath and I'm good to go. They don't need to look good or look stylish because you won't see them anyway. They're just there to keep you warm. Please drop the video a like if you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to hit subscribe and thank you so much for watching. See you later.